All right, this is the finished result of our turkey pot pie. Yes, indeed. It is beautiful. It's golden brown. Look at it. Ooh, it looks so good. And it looks so flaky and so delicious. We're going to go inside there back there and see what it looks like, y'all. Just took out the oven. I want you to see how creamy and delicious this pie is. Look at that. Telling you that is what a turkey pie will look like. Look at that one. Look at that. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. The carrots. And it tastes so good. Mmm. Tastes really good. I had to taste it because that's my side to eat. This is Sandra. I want to tell you happy eating. And thank you for coming to my channel. And try this easy turkey chicken. Well, I call it chicken pot pie. But I call it turkey. It's turkey, y'all. It's not chicken. It's turkey pot pie. And it's it's fabulous. Look at it. Ooh, isn't that beautiful? Oh my goodness. That is a mountain of beautiful tasting turkey. It's tender, the vegetables in there and everything. Your family loves this little turkey pot pie. This says I'll tell you happy evening and thank you for coming to my channel. All right, I had to bake the turkey because it wasn't fully done so i'm giving you a warning please do not eat that turkey that's already roasted from Kroger's unless you cook it again so i had to cook it again so what we did we did the half of it with the uh turkey burritos and the other half this is the other half of the turkey right here what i'm going to do is do a chicken pot pie a turkey pot pie not chicken but turkey pot pie and then we're going to do a chick, uh, turkey salad so right now we're just going to do the chicken pot pie and we're going to show you what it looks like so I want to show you I had to cook this again to make sure it was really done you see all the broth that came in there I'm going to save that put it in a bag and use it for some dressing or something or something else I can use okay this is Sandra I just want to show you about the turkey I had to cook it again I had to roast that turkey again so I'll be right back showing you how to do the turkey pot pie. All right, I'm back with another recipe, and this recipe is my turkey pot pie. You know, I bought that turkey, and what I'm going to do is make the second recipe, and the second recipe is a turkey casserole. Turkey, excuse me, y'all, a turkey uh, pot pie with vegetables. So this is my homemade crust, and I want you to know that I put butter in there. You see the butter pieces up in there, and I rolled out some, and I got it over here in this little container, so I could just lay it on top of the uh, pie. So I'm going to show you that. So I'm going to finish rolling this out with a rolling pin, and get ready for that turkey pot pie. All right, I have my turkey in little hunks i don't want it too crummy and too thin i want it to be kind of thick like that eat this turkey with a knife and a fork yes indeed that's how i want mine and this is a turkey pot pie so what we have in here already is a turkey it's already shredded up just like that i'll shred it so what i'm gonna do is add the onions and celery you can add garlic in if you want, but I don't want any garlic in this. So I'm just going to do just the celery and the onions. And that smells fabulous, y'all. Fabulous. Smells so good. So we're going to put that in there. And then we're going to add the potatoes. And I'll pre-fry my potatoes just like this because I like to have a crust on my potatoes in my pot pie. So I just do it like this, y'all. Put it all in there like this. Have it all incorporated. Kind of flip it together like that. Every the piece have a every end have a piece of potato and turkey. And this is my vegetables. I got carrots and cauliflower and broccoli. Now I get the frozen kind, and what I do is put it in the microwave in a Ziploc bag. 
Put all that in there like this. I like this to be just like this, y'all. Okay. I'm going to blend this together. Just like that on top. I get some little pieces. Kind of separate some of the broccoli. Just like that. And then I'm going to pull some Rotel. Rotel tomatoes. Just like that. Oh, it smells so good, y'all. This is a delicious, delicious pot pie. Yes, I put tomatoes, rotel tomatoes, and give a little spices to it. Okay, then I use a can, a big can of cream of chicken soup. I'm going to blend all this together, and we'll be right back. All right, we got it all cooperated with each other. All the um, carrots broccoli and the potatoes all that incorporated with each other see that ain't that beautiful so what i'm gonna do now is add the homemade crust i'm just gonna lay it like that i love homemade crust and i make mine kind of thick place it on there like that and if you like a lot of crust put a lot of crust on there if you don't just put little as you want but we're gonna put it all the way around just like that it's going to bubble. You don't mind it bubbling because it have air holes in it. And that will be it right there. We're going to put an egg wash on it. I love turkey pot pie like this, y'all. Yeah. Okay. And then we're going to put the egg wash. Wash it all the way down. You see this in the camera. And... This is what this is all about. Look, we're just air washing it down because when it bake, it's gonna bake golden brown and it's gonna look so beautiful. You're gonna dip in there and get all that delicious turkey and delicious vegetables. This is a healthy meal. But it's not really, 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 really healthy. But you got some vegetables in it. And then you got some good crust. And I put buttermilk in my crust. I'm gonna tell y'all that this while ago. I put buttermilk in the crust and I use margin i use um about two cups of flour and two sticks of margin real real cold and i add buttermilk and it makes it taste so delicious y'all so delicious i might spread this out a little bit just like that and we'll be right back and let's see what the finished result look of this beautiful turkey pot pie okay this is sandra be right back I had to show you the serving size of the turkey pot pie, and it is fabulous, y'all. It tastes really good. It's not that hot with that motel tomatoes because I got the mouth. It is delicious, y'all. This is Sandy. I want to tell you happy evening, and thank you for coming to my channel. And look at these recipes. These recipes is what I make homemade, and I want you to try them because they are fabulous for your family. This is Sandy. I want to tell you again, thank you for coming to my channel, and try this Pop, pop.